Hello, Virtual Doll Convention. My name is Rachel, and it is so good to see you again. Welcome back. If you are seeing this right now, this is a live feed inside our March 2020 Beyond All Limits Virtual Doll Convention group. So we had a we had a slight change in our schedule, and you were originally supposed to see the wonderful case that my mother has that is absolutely full of Cupies. Lots and lots and lots of wonderful Cupie dolls. And I was gonna do a presentation on Cupie dolls, but I couldn't get the case open. The key is in it, but I can't get it open. So we just had to do a quick, uh, a quick switch over, a little ebb and flow as we've done a lot the last couple weeks, am I right? And we are going to have a different program with me. I am live at my mom's house, which is right next door to my house. We're on a vertical video because I have a beautiful case behind me that I am going to be sharing some treasures from inside the case. You're gonna see all kinds of different fun things and they're all just fun little sweet treasures that I hope you will enjoy seeing and just relaxing and hanging out on our Saturday night here at the Virtual Doll Convention. We've been having the absolute best time this week. I've been having so much fun today, chatting bears and raggedy ends and doing so many wonderful things and having laughs and oh, just having the best time with you guys. So thank you so much for being here and uh, the camaraderie and just all your comments and everything. So for everybody that's tuning in, hi guys, I'm looking down to see, I see you all here. We're on a vertical video because we have this wonderful case and these these gold cases have been in my mom's house my mom and dad's house but it's my mom's house for many 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 years and they have been filled with her treasures now if you if you missed it in the beginning of the video we are looking at something a little bit different we we're going to look at cupies but i couldn't get the case open <laughs> the key's in there but i can't get the case open so we're going to have to figure that out at some point but I just shimmied on over because we have this case right here that is full of lots of wonderful treasures that I cannot wait to share with you. So let me know how you guys are doing, where you're tuning in from. This is a live feed so we can interact with each other in a live way, which is which is really uh, fun. Uh, it's just like our watch parties, except that I can actually see you as you're commenting and respond to you and kind of bounce off each other a little bit. So my mom has this case full of all kinds of wonderful and fun things, and we're just gonna kind of go through it and spend some time together and chat about it. So first, since we did so much with teddy bears today, I just had to show you guys this little picture. It's kind of hard to see, but there you go. Look at, that's me. That's me with the little teddy bears. And my mom took that in our doll shop. So yeah, we love teddy bears at this house and teddy bears are so happy and important. So I thought you guys would love seeing that little picture that is in the case. As you guys know, my mom really loves Christmas. So there's a lot of Christmas in this case and it's a lot of fun, but this was one of the last things she put in here. And this is just a, it's just a, such a sweet little girl. This is a very chubby little all bisque girl and the wonderful thing about her is she has the fabulous swivel waist these all bisques that have these wonderful swivel waists are just so 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 super rare and she's got um she has a closed mouth and a wonderful wig and and when you have a body like this it's kind of you don't really want to display them with clothes on so you can see the wonderful body so that's one of the last things that she put in here that i think is really fun she really likes Christmas. So there's a lot of Christmassy type things in here. And they're all just sweet little things. This is just, this is a cute little German bisque girl. And she's decorated in her little Christmas outfit with little angel wings. Somebody made this, but isn't this just so sweet and cute with her little scepter and her little crown? I think that's just absolutely adorable. Hey guys, so fun to see you. Hi, it's so nice to see you guys. Thank you for being here. This is a sweet little wax angel. And you guys, I didn't, I just, I decided to move, move in the last five minutes. So I have not looked in this case in 
so many years. So I am seeing a lot of these things for the first time in a long time with you. So if I'm like looking at them, like, what is this? It's probably because I haven't inspected them as closely as I am now for our video. So Melissa Turner, I know you're going to like this little wax fairy. Yeah. Isn't she so sweet? Cute little wax fairy. Here is a nice little, oh, it's a little unmarked all bisque. She looks kind of like a bare wall, but she is a, what are we calling these? Angels, fairies? I don't know, but she is so sweet. Look at that. So my mom had a little theme going on here on this top shelf is they're her angels. They're her little angels on the top shelf. Aren't they cute? Treasures from the gold case. All right, let's see what else we got. Obviously she was going with an angel theme here. Here's another sweet little angel. So she just picked these up everywhere. And so it looks like if she found an angel somewhere, she just brought them home. Isn't that sweet? Hey, everybody. This one's really cool. Look at this one. Look at that. This, I believe... And I'm going to get the pronunciation probably wrong. Well, I believe this is a French art doll. Let me see. Hmm. That's unmarked too, but she's bisque. She looks like one of those. I'm forgetting the name, but if you're, if you're tuning in and, you, and, and she looks like what I'm thinking of, uh, give me a shout. But they make some kind of fun French art dolls. Her little scepter right there. There she is. Her little wings. Yeah, she's bisque. Isn't that interesting? And this is a little, this is a little. That's a paper mache. Took me a second, but that's a sweet little one too. Look at, I love her little angel theme. It's so perfect for Christmas too. Isn't that sweet? Cute. So if you guys are just tuning in, we are sharing some treasures from the gold case. We've got a couple gold cases here. I couldn't open the Cupid case. I'll get it open someday for another program. Now, I wanted to show you... If you guys like miniatures, I know you're going to like this. There's some really sweet little miniatures in here. Little bisque. Look at this little all bisque frozen Charlotte. She need with the little bonnet, the molded bonnet. It's so hard to find these little miniature all bisques that have the molded bonnet. So this is one that needs one of those little cute little Helen Kiss shoes. Look at this one. That hairstyle right there. She's really cool. She's got that sweet little, sweet little baby right there. And it's original little bunting. Isn't that cute? And look at this little paper mache in her little original bunting. I don't know, maybe that's not original, but it might be. But look at that, isn't that cute? Little paper mache doll and it's little, it's little papoose. Oh, so cute. So these are all in here in this sweet little box. I think that's just absolutely adorable. I knew you guys would like that. Now I'm going to show, share with you some wonderful little all bisques and, uh, um, no, not all bisques, porcelain figurines, and they're going to love it. Uh, Melissa said, does your mom know she, that you're playing in the gold cabinet? Yeah, she does actually. She's right in the other room watching her favorite show. And I said, mom, I'm going to show all my friends at the virtual convention your gold cabinet. Is that okay? And then I asked her to turn the show down a little bit because she had it like blasting. So yeah, she knows. She, she has always been so supportive of 
sharing and doing anything that I wanted to do as far as like the virtual world and videos. And anytime I was at a doll show working on working for her at the booth and there was an opportunity to go film something, she would always let me go and just she just if, if I could go film something or get something or get the interview or, or film the workshop with somebody on the fly or whatever, she always let me go. In my early years of filming and, and the doll stuff that I used to do, I, I would sometimes be gone the entire show just out filming all my stuff. And she was just always so supportive. So she would love this. I'm going to tell her all about it. Show her the video. But anyway, look at this. You guys are going to love this. You're going to love this. It almost reminds me of the old woman and the shoe. But look at this cute little crocheted shoe and all the tiny little frozen charlottes and all bisques inside the shoe. Look how tiny those two are. Look at, isn't that cute? I knew you guys would love this one. Oh, so sweet. This is a really neat little figurine. She really liked miniature figurines. Look at that one. The two little kids reading and the mom hanging out right there. You're gonna love these next ones and they're so cool. I didn't even know, well, I did know, but every time I see them, I always think this is so neat. These are little wonderful all bisque porcelain figurines that are whistles. Okay, here we go. That one doesn't, that one doesn't work very well. I should probably be sanitizing them, but look at this one. This is a whistle. Isn't that neat? I will clean all these off. Look at this little one. It's a little rabbit. Oh, that one works really good. Isn't that neat? These little antique. So cute. Here's my favorite one. Look at this one. Look at that one. It's the little China doll in this little all, in this little bunting. Look how amazing this is. Yeah, this one works really good. Look how cute that is. Such a tiny, tiny little treasure. I love this. This is probably my favorite thing in the case. This is a wonderful bust that she had in here, but, and it's just really beautiful, but look at when I look at the flowers and look at the detailing on the back of the head with the little hat. And look at all the wonderful detailing of those flowers on that hat. Isn't that just so special? And the wonderful bow there on the side. Isn't that neat? It's Mark Dresden. Yeah. That is cool. Hi guys, so fun to see you. Yeah, if you've never seen those whistles, they're so cool. You can just collect those whistles definitely be on the hunt for them. And if you see them and they have that weird little notch in them and you don't know what it is, try blowing on it. It's a whistle. Look at this, this is cute. You guys know how much she loves pugs. Look at this little baby rattle with the pug in it. That is cute. That's really special. She loves her pug stuff. Of course, anything Christmas, so look at this little, little guy on his sled, a little grumpy guy on his sled. Maybe he was about to crash. I don't know. He's cute, though. And this is a fun, I hope I don't lose any part of it. I hope he doesn't, I can't tell if it comes off somewhere. No, I don't think so. Thought it might be a candy container, but I don't think it is. This is a sweet little polar bear with Santa on top. Look at that. That's fun. 
got a big old, big old beard right there. Oh, look, he even has a little present in the back of his. There's a little boy in there. Isn't that cute? David Warren Cobb says, I have an old ceramic mug that whistles. That's awesome. Yeah, if you guys have any antique whistles, definitely post them in the comments after this video. I would love to see them. So we'll put him back. Aren't we just having the best time at our convention, guys? It is so fun to be hanging out with you right now uh, virtually, but we're all here together on the same video and I'm sharing some treasures in the gold case and we can chat about it. And after this is done, you guys can post uh, comments and pictures too. And it's just so much fun. So, okay, I'm picking this up. I don't even know what this is. Is this soap? There is a little baby. I think this might be, I don't think, no, it's not soap because there's a little baby and a little ceramic and a little plastic covering right there. Little baby Jesus, maybe? It's really sweet, though. Cute, 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 cute. Now, I know a lot of you guys out here have these. Okay, I'm going for it. Well, it's not really spinning, but you guys know what it's supposed to do. They, they spin around usually. Maybe this, I don't know, but she likes these. The little Polichinelles, I think they're called Polichinelles. That's cute. Now this is fun. Oh, here's a little one. Here's a little one. No, it just makes that noise. And there's dust. I haven't been in this. Uh, we do have, um, keep it very dust free. And we have cleaning and stuff like that, but um, we, you do you do get dust when things are in cabinets for a while and haven't been moved for a bit. It's so fun to see these little treasures. Brenda said it's a wax baby. Good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying this convention. I'm having a blast with you too. It's so much fun. So in the bottom of her case is this book, Collecting Baby Rattles and Teethers. Includes nearly 300 full color photos of ratter, rattles and teethers from around the world. So this is a nice reference book if you guys are looking to do some collecting. Now, she has some pages. Oh, oh, how interesting. She has some pages bookmarked. And I think it's probably because the rattles that are bookmarked are in the case. So this one right here. Right there, it says it's a Coral and Bells Rattle, England, circa 1719. And I think, and we're looking at this one right here. I think that's this one. Well, it doesn't really make a noise. But I think that's this one right here. 1719, and that's Coral on the end. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's neat. Okay, now let's look at the other booked, bookmarked pages. So there's a lot of rattles. Do you guys like seeing the rattles? Because I'm going to show you some more of these rattles because they're pretty darn neat. But isn't that fun? And it, that's why it's really important to bookmark stuff and to make notes and stuff like that because your family or, you know, whoever that needs to see it needs to know. I wouldn't have known that, that this rattle was in this book. I would have probably found out eventually. But how neat is that? She has other information down in here, but it looks like she really liked these coral ones because here's another one. Look at these ones. They have a lot of patina on them, which is very typical. Don't ever dip them or anything and take off all this wonderful patina. You can polish them lightly, but these ones are great. They have the little coral handles. Silver, so these are... Well, they, in the book, it said this one was 1719. So these are probably in the, at least in the same, you know, century. So those are wonderful little treats. Yep, that one works. So cool. Okay, let me grab some more.
Look at this, okay. This one's quite wonderful. Um, it's a bird cage. You see the little bird in there? There's a little bird hanging out in the bottom of it and then it has these wonderful little tassels there in the bottom. And it's a bird cage rattle. So great. You guys are gonna love this one. Look at the Poly Chanel. Isn't that great? Look at that handle. That's a fun one. Okay, let me grab a couple more. If you guys have some rattles, let me know. So these are the teethers where the baby would teeth. Look at that one's a bear. That one's cute. A little heart. This one's pretty. This one has some hanging bells. You can just imagine a sweet little baby holding this and rattling it with their chubby little hand. Wouldn't that be so fun? And they're also little whistles to annoy their parents. She has a lot of teethers in here. There's a lot of them in this case. Birth record, month and year. Just a couple little bells. Look at this, look at this. This is the top to one, so it's missing its handle. But look at that. It's a wonderful little girl. Can you guys see that? It's a wonderful little girl that has her finger to her mouth like, like she's pondering something. That's, that's special. That's special. All of these are special. If you guys have some rattles or any, anything that's like the treasures in this case, let me know. This is so fun. This one is like a, a little globe with some leaves on it. It's cool. And look at this one has a lot of beautiful filigree on it. That's pretty. So fun to see these. So that was fun, you guys, sharing some treasures from the gold case. There's a lot of treasures in this room. My mom, as you guys know, really loves Christmas. So everywhere you look, there's just super special little treasures. This is a little baby Jesus in a manger. He's crush in his little manger right there. Isn't that nice? And then let's see if I can just kind of move it a little so you guys can see. There's a wonderful little feather tree right there. This is a miniature feather tree. A lot of people were asking, what is a feather tree? And they're made with uh, painted goose feathers, little, little painted goose feathers. And usually when you see feather trees, they are very small. And so that's why the one in the other room that's 10 feet tall is quite a treat because it is uh, very, very rare to find one that size, especially that's just decorated in so much wonderful things. So... You know, just everywhere you look, there's like little fun little sweet little mementos and just things that she collected and that people made for her. It's a cute little mouse. Little mouse going to deliver his Christmas presents. It's Christmas all the time here. There's some sweet little, all kinds of wonderful little ornaments on this little tree. This looks like a hebe shebe type type all bisque little guy. Put him back in there. So this has been an absolute delight. It has been so much fun to hang out with you guys and just share some of the treasures of the gold case. And uh, hopefully when one day soon I'll be able to get open the gold case right next to it that was full of cupies that I thought would be really fun to share. But there's there's all kinds of things in in this, um, in all of our homes to share. And so that's why I think it is so wonderful that we continue to learn and to figure out different ways to share our collections and to just have fun with each other and figure out how to use 
Zoom conferencing and how to use Facebook and YouTube and all of the wonderful things that are available to us on the internet so that we can connect and share and have this wonderful time together. So you guys have been absolute rock stars at our convention. I love all of your comments. Please make sure to, if you really enjoyed a program, to email the person in the program. It really helps fill their cup to get those messages from you guys saying, hey, I really, really enjoyed the programming and thank you so much. So uh, you guys thank me all the time, but if you can, just if you have a little time this evening and just at the end of our convention, take some time to email some of those wonderful contributors that have uh, given us fabulous programs and content and just I'm so grateful to them. It has been so much fun. So Carolyn, yes, I will tell my mom how much you enjoyed it. I really will. You guys, I will go into the other room right now and turn her show back up because she let me turn it down because she knows I'm here. And even though she doesn't quite, you know, she's in, she's in pretty advanced Alzheimer's, but she still knows when I ask her something or say something. And what I love is that before she got her disease, she, like I said earlier in the video, she always supported this. And what I wanted to do with my initiatives and to film and to put stuff out there. And she would go out of her way to help me film and do stuff. So I know that I am fulfilling something that she would be so proud of. And I know that she is. And it's just wonderful to be able to uh, share what she has because this has taken her a lifetime to build and to she has put her entire life into it so the quest and everything that you guys see in this house uh, don't don't ever look at it and think that you that you have to have that or whatever this this is uh, her her platform and what and what she has done but everyone's collection and everyone's what they do and what they invest in is all so important and so special and so meaningful so it is just really wonderful to share and to just have the comments and and chat with each other so thank you guys for joining me tonight i sent derek out to go get some kettle corn because we have movie night. We had movie night last night and we have movie night tonight. His Girl Friday, which is just a fun kind of romantic comedy type silly movie. Uh, we're going to watch that tonight in the group. And then tomorrow we're going to have another wonderful day and have some programs and some cooking and do all kinds of fun stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little program in uh, the group in the in the gold case. And thank you so much for tuning in. Bye, guys.